Okay, so today we're talking about how to value your hair or beauty business for sale. What do you think counts as your business's most valuable assets? I've heard many salon and spa owners talk about things like their fixtures and fittings or the lease on their premises, or they try to put a value on what they've spent on their fit out or their machinery. Sure, those things might have some kind of value, but it's likely to be pretty minimal. If I was thinking of buying your business, I'd want to know about a couple of things much, much more valuable to me. I'd want to know about two things. The first thing I'd be looking at under a microscope is your list. Yep, your list of contacts, clients, customers, and prospects. How detailed it is. Do you have their full contact details? How frequently they get offers from you by email or um, SMS or uh, social media, whatever. The real money is in that list, and I'll talk about that in another video. The second thing I'd be doing a forensic analysis of is the marketing infrastructure that you've developed that brings in a steady stream of new prospective clients. This is far, far more important than any of the stuff you can physically see in your salon. And I'll show you why with some examples of what I mean. Let's start with how people search for any local business these days, hair or beauty businesses. Nobody uses the Yellow Pages book anymore. You already know this. Where do you go when you're searching for something? Yep, Google. Google is the new Yellow Pages. So I want to show you just how valuable that is with some actual examples of salons and spas and what results they're getting. Okay, so let's say you're in the centre of Hobart, Tasmania, and you're looking for a beauty salon for, let's say, a facial or a massage or body wrap or whatever. 90% of people these days use a smartphone to search. And if you search in Google for beauty salon Hobart, Here's what you see. This is uh, Escape Beauty Lounge. And on the right-hand side of that search is a click to call button. You've all seen this. Uh, you know exactly what it looks like. Touch that and you'll call the business and here's what you get. So you can uh, just hit call and you'll call straight through to the business. Now, let's also have a look at what happens there. So if we go to um, the search for Escape Beauty Lounge, we know because we manage this uh, salon and many other salons Google uh, my business listings, Escape Beauty Lounge in the last 30 days or one month had 141 calls from people who searched and hit click to call on the Google business listing. Now that's a remarkable number of calls uh, just from click to call. That doesn't recall uh, record any um, people going to her website and calling from the website. That's just from click to call. But we also know, because we look into the back end of uh, the Google Analytics, that of the people who found that listing on a Google search on their phone, fully uh, 311 people went from there to that salon's website. So that's a, that's a pretty good indication of the value of that position in Google. So that salon is positioned in the top three or four of Google business listings on the internet. Hardly anybody goes into more listings or more um, salons underneath that. Give you another example. Um, here's another one that we look after. This is uh, Allura hairdressing in a suburb of Melbourne called Berwick. And in the last month, they've had 120 calls from people who have found them on the top of a Google search. So there you can see there's a search for um, hair salon Berwick, Berwick, and there's Allura. So that's produced for them that on a click to call basis, 120 calls in the last month. So if I was thinking about buying any salon or spa business, I'd want to know those metrics. I'd, I'd want to know exactly how many calls uh, and visits to the website uh, that that salon or spa is getting from Google in any week, month or year. Now there's a science in getting that Google My Business listing up into the top of the rankings and I'll talk about that um, a little later. But here's another example of what I would want to know if I were thinking about buying any salon or spa. Um, I'd want to know other things about how that salon or spa is attracting customers 
and potential customers online. So here's one in uh, a suburb of Melbourne called Dramana, Mayo Spa. This is another one that we look after their online infrastructure. Mayo Spa is one of the top ranked salons in that part of the city. Now, here is Mayo Spa's website, and here's a couple of crucial things. This is a website that we built for Mayo Spa um, earlier this year. Now, there's two crucial things here, and a lot of websites don't have this, and it's absolutely essential. At the top here is a phone number, the salon's phone number. Now, imagine that you've come to this salon's website on your mobile phone, you don't want to have to go searching for a phone number just to give them a call and book an appointment. You want to be able to touch that on a mobile phone and it will just click to call. Now, if I was on a mobile phone, it would just ask me whether I wanted to call. I'm on a desktop computer, so it's asking if I want to open Skype to call. Obviously not at the moment. So that's an essential thing to have on any salon or spa website. The next essential thing to have is some means of capturing the names and contact details of people who don't click to call, but might one day buy something. So on this website, we've placed this very, very obvious, get your free $20 gift voucher opt-in form. Name, email, contact number, and submit. Now we know, because we look after this salon's online infrastructure, that in the last 30 days, She's had 60 people fill in that form to get that $20 gift voucher in exchange for their name, email, and contact number. Now that is money in the bank because these are new clients, potential new clients, she can invite in to redeem that gift voucher and then upsell them and convert them into long-term clients. And that's really, really important. Here's another example. This is a website we look after for a salon in Edinburgh, Scotland. And you can see here that right front and centre is another new client voucher opt-in form, name, email, phone number. And every month, this salon gets an average of 25 or 30 people opting in, giving that salon their name, email and uh, contact phone number. So here's a test you can do for yourself. Grab your mobile phone, um, go to Google, Google Chrome preferably, and just do a search for a hair salon or beauty salon in your local area and see what comes up. If you're not visible in the top three under the map listings in that Google search, then you're missing out on about 91% of potential customers. What can you do about that? Well, if you need help with any of that, um, you can call us at the office here at Worldwide Salon Marketing uh, on 089 443 9327 and we'll point you in the right direction and get you sorted out. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.